ओके गाइस वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू हियर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग डायनामिक्स एंड द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट द गर्ल हैज अ मास ऑफ 40 केजी एंड सेंटर ऑफ मास एट जी इफ शी इज स्विंगिंग टू मैक्सिमम हाइट डिफाइंड बाय थीटा इक्वल्स टू 60 डिग्रीज determine the force developed along each of the four supporting posts such as ab at the instant theta equals to 0 degree the swing is centrally located between the posts so the the maximum height the girl is uh, where the girl is is defined by theta equals to 60 degree so let's say that this theta is 60 degrees this is 60 degree angle and this is the initial state of the girl and then the final state of the girl is in the problem said that the swing is centrally located between the posts so we have to find the forces in in all these posts right so which are supporting this uh, swing so the second state of the girl is in the middle of both of these posts right so somewhere here is the girl's location let's say that this box represent that girl and this is that center of g so this is state 2 so to solve this problem uh, we need to apply the conservation of energy so for from conservation of energy we can say that the kinetic energy at state 1 plus the potential energies at 1 state 1 will be equal to the kinetic energy at state 2 plus the potential energy at state 2 so now if i if we consider the normal and tangential coordinates let's say that the uh, this is the tangential direction and this is the normal direction so the tension in the ropes is always acting in the normal direction this is the direction of that tension and the girl is traveling along the tangential direction so the distance the displacement is always traveled in the tangential direction so the tension in the cables are in the ropes does not do any work done so the the work done is or the the energy is due to the weight and that is the gravitational potential energy and say when it uh, travels a maximum angle that is 60 degree so it will come to rest so the swing will come to rest and then it will start moving downward so at that instant theta is maximum and at when the theta is maximum the initial velocity or the velocity at state one will be equal to zero So now from that we can say that the kinetic energy at state one is zero. So we can write it as zero. And for the gravitational potential energy, we have to define our datum line. So let's say that this horizontal line is my datum line. This is my datum line. And above this datum line, the gravitational potential energy will be positive. And below this datum line, the gravitational potential energy is negative. And as we know that the uh, the gravitational potential energy is W times the h, or we can say that W times y. So y in the upward direction is positive, that is positive y, and in the downward direction y is negative. So now, if the girl is somewhere here, then the if if we locate that y, if I draw a horizontal line from this particular point, so this is that y at state one. This is that y. So this y, let me. make it clear this is that y right so this y we if we consider this triangle so the length of the cords or rope is 2 meters and if we consider this triangle like this this is a triangle and this is 2 meters and this angle is 60 degrees so this is y and this is this is 2 cos of 60 this is 2 cos of 60 degrees and since y is negative in the downward direction so this is minus 2 cos of 60 so now the gravitational potential energy at state 1 is w times y and we know y and w is the mass is 40 so we will write that this is 40 into 9.81 into y and y is minus 2 cos of 60 degrees and this will be equal to this is the only uh, potential energy that is the gravitational potential energy and that will be equal to the kinetic energy at state 2 so we can write that this 1 divided by 2 mass is 40 times v2 square let's say that the velocity of the girl at point 2 is v2 and again here we can define our normal and tangential coordinates 
so this is our normal this is our tangential coordinates and here the velocity is going to act in the normal uh, sorry this is tangential direction and this is the normal direction so the velocity is going to act in the tangential direction at state 2 and the gravitational potential energy at state 2 will be again uh, w times y and now uh, y is directly equal to 2 since this cable will become vertical so then y will be minus 2 right so we can write that this weight is uh, 40 times 9.81 and in state 2 the distance of the girl uh, center of gravity from that datum line is minus 2 meters so we will write this as minus 2 so now this equation will give us the velocity of the girl at 0.2 so this is if we divide this whole equation by 40 so this will cancel out this will cancel out and this will cancel out so we will be left with this equation and now if if i bring this term to the other side of equation so we will have 9.81 uh, minus 2 cos of 60 and that term this is my this is uh, plus into minus let's say this is plus so if we bring this to this side so this will become minus 9.81 into minus 2 and this will become uh, 1 divided by 2 v2 square 1 divided by 2 v2 square and now we can multiply both sides of equation by 2 as well right so this will be 2 times this so now we can find this this is 2 into 9.81 into minus 2 cos of 60 minus 9.81 into minus 2 so this will give us v2 square v2 square is 19.62 let me write that v2 square is 19.62 and now if we take the square root of the answer so that will give us the velocity of the girl at state 2 so that is 4.429 so v2 is 4.429 meter per second now we need to find the uh, sub, the force in the supporting post, right? Determine the force developed along each of the four supporting posts. So now, when the girl is here, we we need to find the tension in the cable, right? So the tension in the cable is going to act in the in this direction, that is in the positive normal direction. So this is the tension in the cable, and this is acting in the positive normal direction. Let me draw that free body diagram here. So this is the tangential direction. This is the uh, normal direction and the tension in the cable is acting in the upward direction this is the tension and the weight is going to act vertically downward so now if we apply the summation of forces along the normal direction that is the summation of forces along the normal direction so this will be equal to uh, m a n and as we can see that this t is acting in the positive n direction this is t minus that weight which is mg and weight is mass is 40 times 9.81 and this will be equal to mass so mass is 40 and a n is a n is v2 square divided by the radius of curvature so v2 is this which is 4.429 square and the radius of curvature is 2 meters the length of the rope right so that is divided by 2 so if I bring this to the other side, so it will become plus 40 into 9.81. So this will be the tension in the, uh, the tension developed in the rope, right, due to the uh, weight of the girl. So this is 40 into 4.429 square divided by 2 plus 40 into 9.81. This gives us T equals to 784.72. So T equals to 784.72 Newton. Now to find the force developed in this supporting post, we have to consider this joint uh, for equilibrium, right? So if the tension in the rope is in this direction, so here the tension in the rope will be acting in the downward direction. So this is that same tension T which we have just determined that is 784.72 and 
the the summation of the forces of these uh, posts and this tension t they need to be equal to zero since this joint is in equilibrium right so the the tension is acting in this direction and this the force developed in this e b post will be acting in this direction and the force developed in let's say this is that point c so force developed in this ac post will be acting in this direction so so if we consider this force in this direction so they the resultant is equal to zero so we can say that this is this will be the force in that a b post and this will be the force in that a c post and they will equal they both of these will be equal since uh, the girl is in the middle right so we have to write that this is f and this is f and again since we have two posts uh, one post two posts are we, we are seeing them and they are in the front and two are in the uh, on the back of both of these right so this is two times f and this is two times f so now if i draw the free body diagram at that joint a so we have this 2f force here and then we have 2f force here and that tension in the rope is acting in the downward direction and as we know that this angle is 30 this angle is 30 this is 30 and this is 30 so now if we if we define our coordinate system let's say this is my x and this is my positive y direction so if we aid uh, the forces in the y direction if we apply the summation of forces along the y so that will be equal to uh, zero since the joint A is in equilibrium that is uh, at rest, right? So we have to resolve this 2F force into its component. So this will be the component of this 2F. This is 2F cos of 30 and here we will have the component of this 2F and that is 2F cos of 30 as well. So the summation of forces along the Y will be equal to 2F cos of 30, 2F cos of 30 plus this 2f cos of 30 minus that tension in the uh, rope. So this is t and this is equal to 0. So this will become uh, 4f cos of 30 and if I bring this t to the other side, so this is plus t and this t is 784.72 and f will be equal to 784.72 divided by 4 cos of 30. So this is 784.72 divided by uh, 4 cos of 30. So this is 226.53. So F is equal to 226.53 Newton. So 226.53 Newton uh, force is developed in each of the supporting posts. So we have total four number of posts and each uh, the force in each post is equal to 226.53. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from Hitler Dynamics.